This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are taking a look at a brand new survival game that just released today called Chernobyl Light. Let's get to it. We're just going to uh, go, I don't know what free play is. We're just going to go new game. We're going to do that. Uh, survival difficulty, combat difficulty, media, uh, yeah, all that. What? Wait, what is this? Manage, managing difficulty affects the chance of success for companions missions. Uh, and how the base affects their morale health. Yeah, that's fine. Um, skip introduction. I cannot. Character portraits show at important moments. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Press any key to continue. We are loading. We have a video. Now, there is music. I have music disabled. There's probably music playing right now, but, uh, yeah, we can't. I guess that's the music is linked to the video sound. Um, yeah, it's all disabled. So yeah, let's just skip it. There was a, there's an incident. Things happened, bad stuff happened and we're left to survive. Okay. Looks like we're going into another video. I guess this is our character doing things. Oh, here we go. Sleepy head. Look, look over there. Do you remember the glade just beyond those trees? That's where you proposed to me. You were so nervous and sweet. You're still sweet, my Professor Kimunik. Okay, do we not talk? Anyway, it feels good to return after all these years, doesn't it? Mm, I don't know yet. I feel like we should be saying something and we're not. <laughs> like, okay. Oh, okay. Do, can we control ourselves? Nope, still can't control ourselves. Well, now? Nope. Okay, we're looking around. Uh-oh. Oh, we were hallucinating. I see. Oh, that was creepy. What the heck was that? What is it, Acor? You're still half asleep. Wake up. Oh, that was kind of creepy. Awake again. Tanya? I'm awake. Uh, motion blur has got to go. Okay, I increased the uh, field of view a little bit, too. Uh, let's see here. Can I not pick up any? I can't interact with any of this stuff. I guess we're going to whatever the creepy person. I'm scared to. Okay. They walked outside. So let's read this. F to read. Um, okay. Back. Great. There's like a, you see that when I turn my head? Okay. For a second there, I thought there was something outside. Uh, there's like, when you turn your head, the camera goes sideways and then re re adjusts itself which is a strange thing to have um at least it did allow the disabling of head bob which is nice can i not i can't sprint at all okay so i guess we're we're not sprinting we got a little bit of oh okay oh i just lost control there's a little bit of screen tearing too uh that could be because i dialed it down to 30 fps and i do that because i i record at 30 i might start recording at 60. Because I notice, I'm starting to notice some games perform better at 60 than they do 30. Wh who am I telling the wait? There's like nobody. The game looks great. Oh, yeah, there's creepy person. All right, well, let's just run into it because, oh, I can sprint now. Nice. That's what it wants us to do. She's going to turn around and scare us. Nope, she's just going to disappear. Um, okay. You were so nervous. And sweet. Uh. Professor Why? We're getting a radiation sound. I feel like we should not be here whoa okay that made me jump what the heck was that nonsense that actually caused me to jump i knew it was gonna happen too like i knew i knew that was gonna happen all right i think i fixed the i started to feel a little motion six but with sickness but i dialed the uh we'll come over here i'll show you real quick so uh under the video options i dialed it up to 90 and it's kind of subsided now. So, um, but I did not see anything. Uh, there is an option for, we go into advanced settings to turn off, was it not here? No, I think it was under gameplay. So these are our settings for configuring like motion blur, uh, depth of field, all of that stuff there. So they do have a lot of nice selections here to really dial in your video settings. Gotta love that. Uh, then we have our gamma settings. We can change at any time. You have your basic video settings here. And if we go back, we have game options. So here's your game options. You can change your difficulties at any time, which is nice. Subtitles, all of that gore, and then disable the head bob. But it doesn't look like we can uh, disable that 
Do the camera tilt? You see it, right? Like I'm not, I'm not crazy. It's there. Um, we could probably smooth that out a little bit more if I bumped it up to 60 FPS, but uh, it's fine. We'll just uh, that that uh, that's just something I want to point out. Uh, I always like to look out for my fellow people who have susceptibility to motion sickness because it's like one out of every three freaking people. Um, I guess we're just following this path. Now that they gave me a good jump scare and got my heart going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right. Are we just, let's just go through the minefield. Let's go to the little shack. We're just gonna run for it. Run for it! Run for it. Can we jump? Oh, we do have a jump. Okay, oh God. What's that? What's that? Whoa! What the heck? We just pulled out a gun. This is a very strange game to start with. <laughs> like we get light, we get electrocuted by lightning and pull out a gun. Okay. Um, oh, what the heck? And we just got transported to a new area. Okay. A little strange, but, uh, I'll take it. Hold, shoot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got guys. Okay. Did we kill it? Well, I guess we killed it. A and D. Okay, we got dodge. Can I shoot from the hip? No, I cannot shoot from the hip. Okay, that's... Mulatto! One down. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Reload, reload, reload. Shoot! Okay, all right. We took a little hit, but we're fine, we're fine. Oh, where's it coming from? Oh, he's over there. Come get you, sub! Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. There was one behind us, that's what I was scared of. I was scared one was gonna reload. Did we reload? Oh crap, are we out of ammo? Can I not reload while sprinting? I can't reload. Okay, so we just blew. Okay, well, I think I screwed that up. Is this the tutorial? <laughs> this creepy lady again? I don't want this creepy lady. She done gave me a jump scare. I guess this is the tutorial. Okay, so it's teaching us how to play with visions, I guess. What the heck? Oh, look up there. That's, that's crazy. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, here we go. Look at the photo. Oh, you. We are the inevitable. Okay. Why she got a creepy smile on her face? What the heck? Okay, kids, I don't do drugs. Okay, just don't do it. Workshop. This is what happens if you do drugs. This kind of crazy thing. Do you want that to happen? Do you want to have be struck by lightning and just be transported out in the middle of nowhere with a gun and black creepy monsters attacking you? I don't think so. Oh, look, this is cool. Okay, so we got some crafting going on here. So we need uh, mechanical parts and electrical parts, and then we can make whatever portal generator. Okay, so we're getting a little Rick and Morty up in here. All right, we got that. Where's the other? This reality is coming apart, can't you see? Oh, okay. Reality's coming apart. Well, that makes total sense, everyone. That makes total sense. It wasn't drugs. Reality is coming apart. I hate when a game doesn't let you sprint. Always be sprinting, game. Game, let me sprint. Work. It's the only way out of here. Yeah, obviously. I'm going to go make a portal gun. And we're gonna what 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 do they say? We're gonna get all flub dub wub wub up in here and uh transport somewhere. All right, make it. All right, we did it. Or no, we are doing it. Yeah, just take a drill, put that thing on there, a little bit of duct tape, slap it together, portal gun. What in the heck? <laughs> All right. This game is crazy. I don't know. I, I'm into it. I'm into it right from the get-go. Just get creepy lady's face out of my face. Nobody wants to see her creepy smile. I must have dozed off for a moment. It was all a dream. It was all a dream, chat. It was all a dream. What are you? Stop looking at her. Why? What's that smile? It's like kind of cross between a I just murdered someone and farted at the same time smile. Let's get this over with. Okay, do we have a gun? One, two, no. One, three, no. Middle mouse, nothing. Why don't I get a gun? I feel cheated. I mean, I feel like it's trying to tell me a pretty in-depth story here, but I just don't care. Oh, does anyone else feel itchy? So, 
How bad is the radiation around here these days? It's been a long time, right? That seems great. Don't think about that right now. Yeah, don't think about don't think about your skin being on fire from radiation and the sickness. It'll be fine. Shit hits the fan. Get yourself out of sight until we take care of it. Okay. No talking. Go. All right, so we finally got to the base building part. I did a little bit of crafting, wasn't anything too crazy. Uh, we just went to a campfire and made uh, medicine. Uh, it looks like now we are, all right, hold on. So uh, now build a work table. It is the most basic structure. Uh, select base upgrades, category, then press F to display its content, and then repeat the action to base building. Okay, hold on, well, we wanna finish tearing all of this down so right now we're highlighting crap that's in our base and destroying it to recover all of the parts so that we can then rebuild stuff so it looks like it gives you a dedicated base area and then you just lay your base out kind of however you want from that point so we're just going to go through clean all of this trash up all right well, at least we get a nice decent size area to build in and decide on how we want things. Okay, so now it wants me to, well, we can go through with Q and E, so that's locked. So we'll go here, press F, um, and then buildable tools, or building tools. Oh, so this is just different menus. Okay, so build tools, and then we have this. All right, so let's place this. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, I don't know if I'll get to move it, so let's place it. Let's place it right here. Okay, there we go. So, oh, we can also hold to, to rotate as well and then tab for back through the menus. Okay, you've unlocked the ability to build primitive structures. Do not hesitate to review them. Every day you will have the opportunity to return to the base and expand it. You are limited by the amount of resources. When you are ready, use tab to exit the build mode. Okay. Well, we built this, but I can't do anything with it. I, I don't know. That's weird. Well, it wants us to go over here. Yeah, we got to talk to this dude. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Tell me you're not going straight back to the power plant. Oh, I finally get a gun. You know how to handle firearms? The yeah, give me the said, gun. I have faith in you. Eagle. And we got some food rations. Okay, great. So we can look at this. This is like kind of our board to tell us what we need to be doing. Well, I'm still trying to figure out everything. Oh, we can. Okay. You can start each day with planning and choosing a mission that you will do personally and which you will entrust to Oliver. Okay. Choose wisely. You can only complete one mission a day. That's interesting. And we apparently also have a limited amount of time. So like one day left, one day left. Um, I feel like ammo is probably a good idea because we got two days left on the food uh, case with medicines dropped Medicine food, uh, let's go for the ammo And do it myself. Oh, and then we can assign him to do something as well. Do I have to assign? I guess we'll send him on the medicines then. Okay, here we go. Press enter when you're ready to start the mission All right, start the mission. Are you sure you want to start the mission? Yes. All right, we're just going through a wormhole. Fantastic. All right, so it tells us up at the top where we need to go. It looks like we have a question mark up there too. I guess we can, uh, all right. So we want number five. That's gonna be this. When you are outside your base in the zone, the set of things you can build is completely different. Oh, wow, okay, so we can build out here too? We can build traps. Uh, what else do we got? Crafting tools and environment modifiers. Okay, so let's take a look here. So if we hit F, it should expand down. Um, we can do fireworks, laser trap, landmine, docking trap. So we can just build all this. It's all unlocked right from the get-go. Assimilating, this trap drains the energy from enemies in range, and then a directional trap. Okay, so tab will back out and then we can go over to crafting so we can make a campfire for quick crafting of like potions and food, uh, basic field workshop, advanced field workshop, and a gunsmithing workshop. All right. And then what are, what are these? This makes Chernobylite storms less frequent, slows down the rate of radiation growth in a zone. This limits the number of monsters in the area. Okay, well, that's pretty neat. I'm going to head over here to this question mark first and see what that is all about. I mean, we have our gun. We got 
10, 10 shots, 10 rounds, uh, could be a little iffy, but, uh, oh, that's, that's radiation. I might not be able to get in there yet until I have some type of radiation protection. Oh yeah, you can see the signs there showing that that's a radiated zone. Oh, we got some stuff here, chemicals. Let's pick that up. So I guess we just follow the road and... Amalieva, take you. Be careful. As my wedded husband, and I promise you love, oh, honor, and respect. What is she doing over there? To be faithful to you, and not to forsake you, until death do us part. Oh, we got a dude over there. All right. Um, I might be able to sneak up on that guy, or we could just shoot him in the head. I mean, that's an option too. I don't know how many, how many dudes are over here. Let's try to get a little bit of a lay of the land here. Oh, I wonder if we can... Oh, that's irradiated. I was going to say, I wonder if we can climb up there, but... Unfortunately, it does not look like it. There's a bunch of question marks all over. Oh, there's multiple guys. Okay, uh, we're just going to shoot this guy in the head. There we go. That solved that problem. Now is Buddy. Oh, I missed. Crap. What do you got, bro? What do you got? Oh, he hit me. He hit me. Crap. There we go. Oh, we do not have much ammo left. Pretty sure I'm supposed to sneak in uh, and take them out. Uh, we're going to take that. We're going to take all of that. So it said that, I guess I can dismantle those weapons because it said that, um, yeah, blocked. Yeah, they're, they're biometric weapons, so I can't use them, but we were able to gather some other stuff. So we have that. Oh, we got revolver ammo eight and rifle ammo, but we don't have a rifle. So this is our inventory. We have the map so we can, uh, highlight and look over things. All that's questionable stuff that I guess was additional objectives, but there's the ammo stash that we're headed for. Uh, we have skills, which we have not unlocked any. Oh, we can actually see what they are. Okay, we'll get an idea of what they are. Moving around much more quieter. Um, and then our companion, crafting recipes. All right, cool. Oh, we can also use our scanner here. This thing scans, like we can select different things here that we want to hunt for, but we can also just like when it scans, oh, that's the wrong thing. It scans for everything, not just said things. So like if there's any other stuff nearby, it'll highlight. Like I can specifically, for example, scan for herbs, which you can see it's already telling me that there's none in the area. So it's like scans and then it shows you so... There's some of that nearby somewhere around here. I just don't see it, but it would be highlighted because there is no X over it. Oh, I hear something creepy. I hear a dude crying. What the heck? This is going to be creepy. Hear the music? Yep. What? You'll never find her. Leave this place. What the heck? All right, take all of that. Can we take the Chernobylite out of his face? Nope, okay. I knew it was going to be creepy. Well, it looks like the ammo's over there, but I think that's in a irradiated zone. I don't know. I'm just going to run for it. We're just going to sprint for it. Oh, we got, we got chemicals. Uh, is this the ammo? Yeah, great. Did we get it? We got it. Okay, fantastic. Why am I slow now? Uh, we got a skill point available. That's great. You finish a quest when you're ready. Use the portal generator from your inventory to go back to the refuge. Okay, so we don't have to leave. We can go check out what some of this other stuff is if we want to. And we can kind of explore around to see what kind of resources we can get a hold of. So that's pretty cool. I like how he waves the gun around as I'm moving. Look, look at it. It's so, it's super, super wavy. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, anyway. So we're close to something here. Oh, there's a dude. Can we get in behind him? Is he a bad guy? 
Like frozen locksmith talk. Okay. Hello, fellow prospector. I'm looking for someone. Oh, we can exchange uh, food rations for gear and resources. That's cool. Oh, he's just giving me stuff. Uh, he gave me some lock picks. Nice. All right, so we have something over here. It's like 30 some meters off. Yeah, see the when we scanned, it highlights that stuff as we walk up near it. Uh, we got some electrical parts. So it's in back in here. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, it's around. It's on the other side of here. Okay. Uh, there's got to be a way. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're up to 19 rounds with our gun, but we got to be very careful. Uh, was it for flashlight? We have a flashlight. I just don't remember how to use it. V. V is flashlight. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. All these electrical parts. Nice. We should probably run the scanner too. Let's, uh, no, I don't want the portal gun. I want, I want the scanner. Yeah, let's run the scanner through here. Okay, now let's go back to our gun. It's weird. The, the quick menu is weird. You can see how it's laid out there. It's like, it's kind of strange. Oh, I guess we can, we can move stuff around. Like, we don't even have any of this. So like, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a little strange. Oh, there's a, there's a thing over there. You know it's going to be guarded, right? Like, it's got to be. Uh, oh, we got some stuff down there, too. Yeah, there's a guy. Did we just shoot him? Can we talk to him? Oh, we can talk to him. Let's steal this first. Let's steal that. Now let's talk to him. Who's there? Why are you loitering here? Easy. I'm just looking for some parts. Oh, so this dude, this dude exchanges ammo for, okay. Uh, let's see about. Did you find anything really valuable? Take a look, sir. Because I do have the rifle ammo and I don't have a rifle. Oh, uh, get one gas mask for 10 rifle bullets. Do I even need a gas mask? Primitive armor for four shotgun shells. Oh, I have nine in my inventory, but I don't have a shotgun. So that might not be a bad trade. Yeah, let's do this, because I don't know, I don't think I have any armor. I wish I could check. Can I, can I look? Oh, I can't look. Uh, we're just gonna, what we're gonna do, we're gonna back out. Yeah, I don't think I have any armor. Well, I don't even know where that would be. Okay, let's just talk to him and let's make the trade and see what happens. Okay, we made the trade, we got the armor, let's back out. I hear some noise behind, behind me, and, uh, it's making me very paranoid. All right, so let's take a look. Oh, okay, so it's, uh, I didn't even realize that before. Our inventory is, uh, shape-based. Okay, so T to show stats. Okay, how do we equip it? Oh, use. Okay, we're putting it on. We have armor now. Nice. That works. Oh, we gained an extra stat down there at the bottom. Oh, so I guess the armor has durability and absorbs hits. Okay, that's cool. So I wonder if all those question marks are just people. So let's see, let's see about going back. So two is the gun, um, hold to open a portal. Okay, there we go. I guess we're going home. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get a lot more people and we not only have to manage them, we also have to manage ourselves, which is relatively interesting. So we succeeded. Uh, apparently he succeeded. We got rewarded with some of that stuff there. It says every day all companions will submit a report on their assigned missions. You will learn if their mission was successful and what they managed to achieve. All items they acquire will be automatically assigned to your inventory when you are ready to proceed, press F. Okay. Oh, we gotta, we gotta limit the rations every day. Igor's psyche will decrease because he's hungry. Okay, so they have different, they have different outcomes. Uh, apparently you can start them and they'll like, they'll get mad and leave and like desert and everything else, which is a really cool feature. So it's got like a little bit of colony management mixed in with it, as well as first person survival and first, uh, you know, first person shooter. Pretty interesting game so far. The recipes are a bit weird though. So for like the sleeping bag, it takes mushrooms and herbs. Like I don't, I don't understand that recipes concept. For the sofa, it's mechanical parts and herbs. Oh wait, what was this one? Uh, yeah, this one takes chemicals, mechanical parts, and mushrooms. We cannot build the bunk bed, but you can see the recipes there. Yeah, that's, that's a little weird to me. All right, 
Unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to wrap it up there. I am, uh, I'm digging this game. It's pretty interesting. It's got a lot going for it. Uh, if you'd like to see more of it, let me know down in the comments section uh, if what you saw here was enough for you to go pick it up for yourself. Uh, there'll be a link for it down in the description. Let me know if you go pick it up. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about what you saw today. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give an absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.